got mail. All right, what's up? We're uh, now we're over here at a grandma's house. We're going to grandma's house, Matt. Grandma's house is grandma's house. I'm getting on top of grandma's house real quick. I think that sniper's at grandma's house. All right. Shit. All right, you know, fuck grandma's house. All right, not going to grandma's house no more. We'll go through though and say hi, goodbye. Night and night. All right, I'm about five clicks south. Fuck. Five clicks southwest east of grandma's house. Run back. There we go. Fell off the little bridge, but I'm back. All right, guys, there's two of them motherfuckers. So we got them over there. Grandma's house. Running from grandma's house. We're taking the lead. Taking the lead to grandma's house. Oh, shit. Alright, now if you guys are paying attention there, we have a UAV that's now online. And uh yeah. I'm waiting for this asshole to come out. Stop stop uh being a little bitch right there. Oh, oh, my bitch. God. bitch. Now Now pay attention there, it's I got I got a UAV and you do that you do that uh, you do that by uh you gotta what? what? Shit. Fuck, I can't stop speaking with an accent now. It's really fucking difficult. Um, Roger 6, be aware. We got a friendly up in Grandma's house. He's in the attic. We got one on the front porch of Grandma's house and one outside of Grandma's house in the back in Grandma's house. And this one's not at Grandma's house, but just be careful. It's at Grandma's house, all right? All right, so now uh, moving out over here. I'm going to keep doing this for dramatic effect. It, just, it looks cool. It makes it look like the gift of uh, Bitch. Now you see that he thought he was clever and he thought he was gonna blend in with the wall and be a little uh a garden gnome. But uh no. He wasn't I saw him, saw right through his uh his camouflage. I think that uh eleventh prestige camouflage is called a wall. You blend in with any wall. And uh yeah. Didn't work on me though, because I'm uh I'm a uh, Grizz. Can't fool Chronic, but I can. You can make me miss shots if you have a fucking uh. Shit. Uh, if you see that, my teammate's tactical RPG didn't really work out there. You know, yeah, probably wasn't high enough for stage for it to work the way he wanted it to. But it's alright. You know, that's why. He, drink the Mountain Dew when you do the Rios and you level up and then uh, the RPGs actually get more accurate the higher prestige you are. If you notice, if you notice, uh, you can take an RPG and shoot it directly at your feet and if you're first prestige it will not hit the ground because that's how fucking inaccurate it is. But if you're tenth prestige you can pretty much use like a sniper rifle. It's a little uh, hidden fact, it's it's true, don't look it up. But, uh, it's a real fact, all right. Fuck. Let's see. What else? What else is remastered about this game? Did they add cool new features like being able to lean or pink around corners or some shit? Nope. Oh shit! But you can look at your gun now. Oh my goodness, you guys. Good thing they added this instead of fixing problems like getting put into shitty matches or getting shot around corners and leaving shitty matches early, even if it's for a legitimate reason like spawn camping or the game being too fucking laggy. I don't know, neutralized. If you didn't hear that guy then, you don't, you don't know. Kill confirmed. Tangle. Fuck. Grenade out. Going this way. Alright. Just get the the dog tag and got, got him. Got him. Fuck. Neutralized. Over. Fuck. Over and out. Echo. 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 Got him. Echo him down. Echo. What the f God damn it. Friendly fire will not be tolerated. Alright, squad. Let's move out. We're moving out. Squad. Squad moving up. And he's, he's down. I'm not going that way. Repeat. I'm not going that way. Alright, but one thing I actually am, um, uh, one thing I actually am disappointed in this game about, like, kind of pissed off, is, uh, Hardcore. But that's not just this game, that's every fucking Call of Duty game. One, I'm pissed off that there's no fucking game modes ever. There's hardly ever any fucking game modes to play for Hardcore. Like, we're so limited whenever it comes to what the fuck we get to play. Like, they have all, like, some of the game types are 
look cool and look fun and shit, but I don't get to play them because I don't want to fucking play core and shoot people with half a fucking LMG clip before they fucking die. I have to sit there and play, stick to the basics, and sometimes they'll add in one, and sometimes they'll take game types away, and you'll be even more fucking limited to what we get to play. It's really fucking annoying. Also, in this game, I'm pissed off because Call of, the original Call of Duty 4 actually had the best, um... The best, uh, like, protocol when it comes to team killing. Out of every Call of Duty game that's, that they've ever come out with, this has been the best one, and they fucking ruined it. The way it used to work is if you got pretty sure, guessing those three team kills, like it is for everyone, if you get three team kills, one, it wasn't ricochet, so, like, if you accidentally shoot someone, you don't get popped in the face by your own bullet. Uh, two, if you reach three, if you reach three team kills, you would have to just, you would just, you know, die, and you would have to wait a long time to spawn. Which, personally, for me, and honestly, I have other people I talk to that play hardcore as well, that is the best system. Because it's really annoying to get kicked out of the fucking game because you accidentally shoot people. Like, like I understand, like, that, that should be a thing. That should be a punishment for people who are targeting teammates on purpose to try to, like, fuck up everyone's experience, but it's Call of Duty, like, no one's having fun anyway. That was a joke, but, I mean, kind of. But I understand, like, it's it's something to, like, target people who are personally, like, purposefully targeting teammates, but it's just a shitty system. Because, like, for example, I could go get in on this amazing kill streak. I'd be having the... F this happened to me plenty of fucking times. I'd be having an amazing game, get, like, all these fucking kill streaks and shit, call in a fucking airstrike, and my teammate... The, the spawns a flip or some shit, or my teammate or my teammates that end up where my fucking airstrike came in, and I kill three teammates, and now I'm kicked out of the fucking game. And all that shit that I just did is now just fucking gone. It's wasted. Or, like, imagine uh, in Black Ops 1, they have the fucking B-52 carpet bomb, and you're playing on, like, Nuketown or some shit. This has also happened plenty of times. If you're playing on Nuketown on Black Ops 1 in any hardcore mode, you can't use fucking kill streaks. Don't, I mean, not any fucking good ones. Don't plan on using any airstrikes or mortar strikes or anything like that because it's more than likely going to end up accidentally killing at least three teammates and you won't get to finish the game. You're just going to get kicked out. You're going to get kicked out and it's probably going to, it probably also counts as a loss when you get kicked out since you leave the game early. So that's fucking two pieces of shit things to happen right there. They're like, sometimes you'll shoot and your teammate will just so happen to run in front of you while you're shooting at someone or sometimes you'll be behind it, like you'll be, uh, running you'll see a guy but your teammate won't see him but he's right in front of you so you shoot to fucking kill the guy but your teammate's right in front of you and it now now uh your teammate's dead and you're one step closer to being kicked out of the game and losing all the fucking progress you made we're about to win this one Keep up well like not i guess not progress but you're just you're you're one strike closer to being kicked out of the fucking game and just losing losing all like the the momentum or like fun or whatever the fuck you're having in that match and it's really annoying it's it's really fucking stupid the original call of duty 4 had the the best system for it like eventually okay so like i don't personally don't know why they ever fucking strayed away from this it's, well i'm assuming they didn't take anyone's input on it because it seems like they never really fucking do honestly take anybody's input or anything especially for hardcore people who play this game on hardcore mode like when a new call of duty game comes out and i just like look at the fucking two and a half game types that i have to choose from it honestly feels like the developers don't even know that hardcore mode exists or that people even fucking play it like more people play core like but at the same time, like, that's just so fucking annoying, like, it, it literally feels like they forget that it's there, and it's just, like, something that is automatically tacked on to each game or some shit. Like, there's no options, and this whole, there's, like, there's so many fucking problems with this, it's so annoying. Or, like, for example, uh, regular, like, core team deathmatch, there's no respawn time, but if you play a hardcore team deathmatch, there's a respawn time. Nobody, now, nobody wants to fucking do that. I don't play hardcore team deathmatch. Because, well, one, I don't, I'm not really a fan of Team Deathmatch in general, but I, it's playable. I like playing it sometimes, or at least I did before all this shit happened, but it's just it's stupid. Like, I'm going to go run out, get shot and killed in two seconds, and now I have to wait 30 seconds to fucking respawn. That's dumb. It's annoying. Nobody wants to fucking deal with that.
And then, as I say that, like, hardcore team deathmatch is probably one of the most played hardcore game types. It's not that really we have a fucking choice anyway. I'm sure if we had more options, it wouldn't be. But, you know, I think in this game, there's, like, four four options for us to choose from. Or five, maybe. I don't know. But, I don't know. This shit's really annoying. It pisses me off, if you couldn't tell. But anyway, let me let me actually finally explain how this game used to work with uh, team killing. So, if you get up to three... Uh, team kills you would just have to sit there you would you'd would automatically die on your third one and you just sit there and uh, you have to wait like i think it started off at like 20 seconds uh respawn time then if you kept going i think i think it was after that it might have been like every team kill or you could wait some time and then you could get multiple or something like that i forgot exactly how it worked you know because it was seven years ago or, or 10 years ago i'm stupid but um yeah but it was like that, and eventually, like even if someone was actually purposefully targeting uh, teammates, by that point in time, you're able to see who it is. You can pick out who it is, and you can A, either avoid them, or B, shoot them before they shoot you, and it will be fine. Another thing that pisses me off in this one, I don't remember if it was this way in the original one or not, but this is one thing that Treyarch always, I do like about Treyarch's hardcore modes is when your teammates kill you it doesn't count towards and it doesn't count as an actual like death on your uh towards your score so like you don't you won't uh your kd doesn't get fucked up because one either somebody accidentally killed you or two someone just being an asshole and killing you on purpose but um yeah they don't count towards actual deaths on there so like if, if a teammate kills you and like it's an accident like it's it's a lot less uh, like painful like annoying when it happens it's like oh yeah I accidentally shot you all right yeah no big deal i understand it doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't count as a death anyway but on this one and like infinity wards and who's the other person now sledgehammer or some shit like that actually i wouldn't know because i didn't play infinite warfare because that shit's retarded oh not infinite well i didn't play infinite warfare i didn't play advanced warfare but I'm assuming they didn't uh, take up after Treyarch. But, yeah, that's that's really annoying. I, every, I don't know. If given some, like, 1 in 50 quadrillion chance that this video actually makes it somewhere and uh, Activision or somebody actually gets to fucking see this, they, I would like it if, I'm sure, like, okay, this, I'm, Given the chance that this video actually fucking makes it somewhere and, like, Activision or somebody, I don't know, fucking anyone sees it, it would be nice if they had more options for fucking hardcore players and if they, like, put more effort into the way hardcore works and were more thoughtful in how they fucking, I don't know, plan shit out when making the game. It'd be nice, one, if we had more fucking options to choose from so we could play the fun new game types that you guys make in different games, too. And two, oh shit, oh. Two, it'd be nice if I didn't get kicked out of every match because I was doing well enough to earn an airstrike and accidentally fucking kill my teammates or some shit like that. And three, it would be nice if my teammates killing me didn't count as deaths like how Treyarch has it. If you need to figure out what they're doing, just go fucking ask them. But. That's my little fucking pissed off rant about the shitty things of hardcore mode. Hardcore mode itself is fun. I like it. Some of them's kind of weird. Like they change it from game to game, and at one point it, it was kind of annoying because it, it felt just so much like they were trying to just make it core mode to like just kind of get rid of hardcore and uh, make pretty much just like get us assimilated to playing core, which is really annoying. But Glad to see that that stopped and it didn't. It kind of is going back. Even with this one, there's more like shit on your screen than there was in uh, the original Call of Duty 4, but I don't know. It's not terrible. It's not bad. It's not like overwhelming or anything, so that's fine. But yeah, those are just my little issues with the way hardcore mode is set up in Call of Duty. Helicopter on the way.